Hello everybody, my name is Bear Cozy, and today we're playing some Awakened Chaos Era. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, and if you're coming back, thanks for coming back and watching my videos. You know I strive to make not only entertaining, but also educational videos, and I truly appreciate all of the support. What I want to talk about today is Gangelo, or as I like to pronounce him, Gangelo, because I don't think there's a wrong way to do it. But first, let's do our daily summons. Let's go ahead and pop the free one, see what we get, and then we'll pop a few more if this one is no good. Now, I got Connor. Connor is actually pretty good. I believe I have six copies of Connor already. This is probably my seventh or my eighth. My Connor is currently level 50, and he does need to be six-starred whenever I get to it. Let's go ahead and pop one or two more, see what we get. This guy I don't want. And the next one is unskippable, so we shall see what it is. Is it an epic? Is it a Lego? Come on, baby. Show me something good. Oh, it, we got a Lego. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Listen, for those of you that don't have Gangelo, I am so, so sorry. That is my second copy of Gangelo. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Wow. The first copy, I am on cloud nine right now. That is crazy. The very first copy of Gangelo I got was about a week into the game. Maybe uh, maybe less than that. I summoned him from the free daily shard, and that was crazy. I know there are lots of you trying to get him and cannot. And this is my second copy of Gangelo. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm happy for me, but if you don't have him, I'm very, very sorry. Don't leave me hateful comments. I am just taking what I can get. Oh my goodness, that is insane. Absolutely insane. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my goodness, I am on cloud nine right now. That is how you pull the best legendary in the game. I'm gonna be on cloud nine for quite some time, but I wanna look at Gangelo. Most of you know that he's an amazing poisoner and what really makes him amazing is primarily his trait. Now, if we look at his trait, his trait is called Enhancement Agent. All enemies take 50% more damage from poisons. Gangelo works really, really well with Santis, with Valak, or any other poisoner. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure if there are any other poisoners right now. My roster is very, very small still. And for me to pull a second copy of Gangelo is absolutely amazing. I will be on cloud nine for quite some time. I'm still in shock. I was not expecting that. Most of you know I have been trying to pull myself another healer other than Rodira. I actually cannot pull another healer other than Rodira, and Rodira is my only healer. Now, if we look at my legendaries, these are all the legendaries that I have, and you can see my roster is very, very small. And of course, after I use this new copy of Gangelo to ascend my main Gangelo, I will go down to six legendaries, which is very, very tiny. I did just fuse Cyrus yesterday, and that was a lot of fun. We did it together on camera. If you haven't got a chance to see that video, check that out. So before today's Gangelo and yesterday's Cyrus, I had five legendaries, a total of five. Brand Mountain King I got from the Magic Pass, and Evira I got from the second Magic Pass as well. And right now we are currently on the Hydrusia Mountain Pass. So as you can see, my roster is very, very small and I'm working with what I have. I would love to pull another healer. I would love myself a Blackhorn, a Mathasia, but right now I just can't seem to pull myself another healer. So looking at Gangelo, his trait makes the enemies take more damage from poisons, and poisons, of course, deal damage based on max health at the end of the turn. So he is very, very good in the higher dungeons where the enemy's health is higher. If we look at his basic ability, his basic ability deals 80% damage, which is not very much, but it also applies poisons for two turns, and that makes him very, very good in the cursed set, as we've seen, because every now and then he will get a secondary proc of his basic adding more poisons to the enemy. Now, his special actually removes all positive effects from an enemy and deals 100% damage, then heals this character based on the number of poisons the target has. So this is very, very good for self-sustain. If you are lacking heals in dungeons, this is very, very good. It removes all positive effects from an enemy and then it deals 100% damage. Right now, I have been running my Gangelo with his skills turned off 
and I'm only using his basic to try to get the extra procs on his basic for the poisons, but you can run him with everything turned on, and he will not only heal himself every three turns, but he will also remove all positive effects from an enemy, which is very, very nice. And if we look at his ultimate, his ultimate deals 100% damage to all enemies and applies, and applies poisons for two turns. If the enemy is affected by poison, it also applies no positive effects for two turns, and that's on a four turn cooldown. So the nice thing about this is his ultimate poisons all the enemies, which is very, very nice, making the whole group take a lot of extra damage. Now, Gangalo is one of the most coveted heroes, primarily because of his trait. Not only is he very, very tanky, but his trait is what makes him very good. And once you get Gangalo's trait ascended, you can actually use him in a speed farming team, primarily for Queen of Tides, but you can also use him in other dungeons. Now, if we look at his stats very quickly, you could see that mine is level 60. And if we look at his stats, his attack is B tier, which we really don't care about because poisons scale off the enemy max HP and they have nothing to do with attack. Now his health is S tier and his defense is A tier, making him very, very tanky and harder to kill. His speed is A tier as well, but as you can see, his base speed is only 105, so he is fairly slow. As you can see, his crit rate is B tier and it starts at 6%, and we primarily don't care about that. Now, if we take a look at his gear, you can see that most of his gear is not leveled very high. I have him in speed raptor boots. He is in a raptor set primarily for the focus. He has a cursed ring. I also have him in a cursed set. So right now the sets are cursed and raptor and that's been working very well. I put him in a raptor set because primarily I need the focus. As you can see right now, he is over 94% focus and that is a little bit high. You really want somewhere between 70 and 80%. I typically shoot for 80% and that works very, very well for me. As you can see, his health is 13,000 and his defense is over 1,300 and his speed is 146. His attack is very low since he does not need attack and his crit rate is 14% and I really don't care about that because he is a poisoner and poisons scale off the enemy, max HP. Now, if we look at his gear, his gear is not rolled up very high. Primarily, one, because I'm still fairly new in the game, and I'm still working on rolling some of the gear. And two, he doesn't need his gear rolled very high. He's very tanky to begin with, and his poisons scale off the enemy max HP, so we really don't need to give him any more attack. Anytime you run a hero through a dungeon, you do want to make sure all of their glyphs are maxed out as well as their max abilities, because if you're missing any one of those, you are actually gimping your character and not getting as much output as you can. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna see him in action. I'm taking him to Queen of Tides 12. Now, this team is by no means fast at all. Gangalo, as you've seen, is on Ascended. My Santas is on Ascended, and my Hakrin is on Ascended. The only one that's ascended here is Rodira, and that is because I've pulled 12 copies of her, and I can't seem to pull any other healer. So some of you may say that I got super, super lucky with Gangalo because I pulled him, but I look at the accounts that have Mathasia and Blackhorn, and I feel like I'm missing out there, and I just can't seem to pull any other healer than Rodira. So the first wave is down. We are working on wave two. As you can see, it's a little bit slower, primarily because nobody has ascended except for Rodira. And <laughs> I pulled, as I've mentioned, I pulled 12 copies of her, so I had no choice but to ascend her. And Rodira, not being the best healer, actually needs her ascensions, and she needs to keep everybody alive. Her heals are not as good as Blackhorns or Mathasia. So right now, what I'm having to do is I'm actually running Hakrin in this comp. Hey, you're still watching the video. That means you're enjoying the content. And if you're enjoying the content, that means somebody else will also. Click the subscribe button below and help this video reach more people so they can enjoy it as well. And as we make our way through the second wave and go into the Queen of Tides, I will post all their stats so you can see them on screen. And keep in mind, you don't need Gangalo for this. You can use Valak. Of course, it is going to be a slower team. Gangalo is primarily used in speed teams, in Queen of Tides speed farming teams. But as I've said, nobody I have is ascended. So right now, I am nowhere near farming this for speed. Going into the Queen of Tides now, here's what we're doing. My priority right now is 
the elite on the right is my first priority and then the boss is my second priority primarily because the elite on the right actually heals the queen and we want to kill him as fast as possible so i have hakran going first in my group i have i believe i have gangalo going second and then i have santis and rodira somewhere in the middle i've messed around with her speed a little bit as i ended up getting her ascensions now let me pause this right here. It's on a multi-battle. As you could see, really quick, as you could see, the Queen of Tides is actually stunning Hakron, but I used Rodira to cleanse the stun off Hakron. Now I did that on purpose. I've mentioned that in a couple of my other videos. And I have the Queen targeting Hakron with the Aqua Cage, which is the stun on purpose. And I did that specifically by leveling his weapon just a little bit higher than the weapon of Gangalo and the weapon of Santis. So Hakrin actually has the highest attack, and I did that by leveling his weapon. I will put up their stats and their weapon on screen right now so you can see it. And by doing that, it actually forces the queen to stun Hakrin, allowing my Gangalo to be free and my Santas to be free, which are my poisoners. And of course, it frees up my Rodira as well, so my poisoners and my healer can do their job and keep the team alive and continue to do damage. Hakrin right now is primarily just to take the stun, and he is primarily here just to increase the max HP on the whole team. And as you can see, once Rodira takes her turn, she will cleanse him. Sometimes she syncs it up. Sometimes it's a little bit out of sync. And that is unfortunate. But Hakron having the highest HP in the group, or the highest defense, I should say. Hakron having the highest defense in the group can actually take that Aqua Cage no problem. And as I've mentioned before, I did that on purpose. So there goes down Queen of Tides. We get ourselves some six-star boots. And as you can see, there's the team. There's the runtime. Right now, my runtime is 5 minutes and 49 seconds. It's not fast by any means, but I am running this on the laptop, and it does tend to be a little bit slower when I'm filming. Now, as I run this on the PC, it does tend to be a little bit quicker, and it's closer to 5 minutes Let's see what we got. So we do have some six star boots here and these are actually speed boots which are very nice. They do have crit rate percentage and they do have health percentage. So the boots being six star speed cursed boots with two percentage substats. I am going to lock them and I'm going to hold on to them. The necklace I don't really care about. It's flat attack and it's only five star. So there he is. You've seen him in action. And as I've mentioned, I want to show you their weapons. So right now, as you can see, Gangalo's staff is level to 12. And I took it to 12 primarily because I got a roll on focus. I wanted to see if I can squeeze out some more focus or some more speed because Gangalo is really slow. And I did not, so I left it there. And there's really no need to level him. Now if we look at his info, and if we go to more, you could see his attack is at 1641. And I stopped it there because if we go and we look at Hakron, Hakron's attack is actually at 1743. And Hakron has the highest attack in my group unless I bring Zatlux. So Hakron is at 1743. And if we look at Santis, Santis is actually at, Santis is at 1400 and change. So as you've seen, Hakron actually has the highest attack in the group. And as I've mentioned, I did that on purpose for Queen of Tides. So there it is. There's the spotlight on Gangalo. I am still on Cloud9. I can't believe I pulled my second copy. And that is absolutely amazing. That is just... I have no words, guys. I have no words. I hope you're happy for me. I'm very, very happy. I wish I could get myself a healer, but all things come in time. I'm going to continue working on this. I hope you've enjoyed the spotlight. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer it. I am planning on building Valak at some point and using Santas, but to run a Valak and a Santas comp, I most likely have to have Santas ascended to her A5, and that's going to take some time considering right now she has no ascensions. So that's going to be it for now. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.